Dan Brown Jr., big run down low to the inside of Clark Guglielmoni. They'll go side by side into three and four on the bottom. Dan Brown Jr. looking to take second. A little beating and banging between them, and here comes Dan Jinkerson. More beating and banging. Here comes Jinkerson now to the inside of Clark Guglielmoni. He'll take third. All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here at uh, Plasterville Speedway, as you can see in the background. Um, it is the Carnet Clash, so it's a memorial race for Brian Carnet, this guy who used to race here, and uh, owned a pure stock, he owned a late model. Um, I actually raced his car twice and had some good runs. Tonight honors him, so it's a little bit more pay. It's like $1,500 to win. Normally, we only get 500 to win here, so. Um, anyway, looking forward to tonight. It's not an extreme race, so we're not running for points. So just like before, we're just going out there to have a, have a good run, try a few things out, kind of do a test and tune for the extreme race that comes in here two weeks from now. All right, there's the car all nice and covered up. Special thanks, Jensen Construction. We got his stickers on all th three corners of the car, I can say. And then uh, A Heart Racing, there's the car owner's name. So, car's looking good. down to it so I don't know moisture might stay in there for a couple hours we'll see also it is my daughter's 15th birthday today so hard to believe she's 15 but she's here at the races on her actual birthday so uh, she's a trooper Placerville Speedway, once again, all of tonight's action is in honor of the late Brian Carnett. Brian was a true fan of the stock car divisions here at Placerville Speedway while racing, owning, and sponsoring both pure stocks and late models throughout the decade that he spent here at Placerville Speedway. Brian had a knack for storytelling. He could carry on a conversation with pretty much anyone and oftentimes had people in tears laughing from his sense of humor. He was known for his generous, caring personality, and he was always willing to give of himself to help someone in need. On October 18th, 2015, after a short but aggressive battle with brain, bone, and lung cancer, Brian passed away at his home in Placerville, surrounded by his loving family. So once again tonight, this one is for you, Brian Carnett. One more 
more time, all in honor of Brian Carnett. We'll see if they wind these babies up for a lap at speed down. Hey guys, uh, hot laps are complete. Ended up third quick. Felt like I had a lot more to get to it, but uh, hot laps pay zero. So um, uh, we start the last heat race of the night, the late models run. I'm in the first heat. I start on the pole of the first heat next to uh, our buddy Rod. Every week I'm next to him or he's right near me. Uh, but uh, it's kind of funny at this point. So uh, we're both going to throw in some old mud plugs and probably door each other going into turn one. So we'll see. Uh, but anyway, we did that memorial lap. Uh, that was real special for me to be asked to be a part of that. Uh, I raced for Brian a few times. Uh, he had a pure stock that was pretty badass. I uh, almost won a race for him, but uh, uh, yeah, like so he passed away and uh, his son puts this race on every, every year. So it was real special to be part of that. And uh, uh, I'm sure you saw some clips that my wife took uh, from the intro. So anyway, stay tuned to the video. We'll be rolling out here in about an hour uh, for a heat race with the clutch. for Dan Brown. The pride of Lincoln, California in the A-Heart Racing Jensen Construction sponsored number 15 late model off turn four. Checkered flag waves. Dan Brown Jr. picks up the victory. Clark Guglielmoni second and Rod Oliver in third. So we walked down to do the uh, the pill draw and um, had uh, Jimmy Wall who drew me a one at Marysville last time standing there. So he didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it, so I had him draw it, and he drew me a four. So we start seventh. So me and Dan Jinkerson are starting fourth row. So big, big race, one I really want to win. So I really got my work cut out for me. So got to maybe dodge some bullets and um, and hopefully move forward. So anyway, we're gonna try to get the car ready here and uh, uh, check some air pressure and make sure everything's good to go. And then uh, we should be rolling out here probably in about 45 minutes.
Oliver on the inside. Guglielmoni through the middle. Who's going to lead lap number 12? Guglielmoni. And here comes Clark Guglielmoni. Oh, contact between those two. Dan Brown had a piece of it as well. We go yellow. Heartbreak City for Rod Oliver. Five circuits remaining in this one. Dan Brown Jr., big run down low to the inside of Clark Guglielmoni. They'll go side by side into three and four on the bottom. Dan Brown Jr. looking to take second. A little beating and banging between them, and here comes Dan Jinkerson. More beating and banging. Here comes Jinkerson now to the inside of Clark Guglielmoni. He'll take third. on this car. I'll walk around it here. All right, so that's the way the car looks and it's real disappointing. So we got a lot of work to do because we race here next weekend, but um, yeah, front ends tore up, sides kind of tore up, but uh, that was some crazy action going on there for second place. Uh, I thought I had, you know, plenty of room in there to know I was there and I felt like he came down onto me and we kind of hooked and then I tried to get out of it. And uh, I, I don't know. It, it, I think it was just, just hard racing. Both of us were fighting for second. His dad was leading, and uh, you know it's a good points uh, money night for uh, for us to get second. And you know it was just hard fought. So hopefully there's no hard feelings there. We can go back and race again and have a good time. But uh, it's kind of disappointing, you know, that that all happened and there's so much damage to the car. Moral of the night is uh, it was going great. Kind of got disappointing and then made it back to second. Got a lot of money uh, for second place. Paid really well. So we'll be back here next week. Until next time, uh, please hit that like button, comment down below, let me know what you think about that race, kind of about that incident. Like I said, I think it's just hard racing and uh, we'll move on. So he's a good guy. So anyway, until next time, we'll see ya. Peace.